all of these amazing AI art have been created using one of these five models. If you are using stable diffusion and you are annoyed by how bad your AI generated drawings are, then you must check these out. Welcome to the AI outline where we bring daily tips and tricks related to AI. Watch till the end of this video to become a pro in stable diffusion. Let's go. Number five, anything V5, V3. Just like the name suggests, this can generate anything. Well, as long as you need something in the good old anime style. All of this amazing art you see right now has been generated using this model. It is also a model with a very consistent update history, along with a lot of good improvements along the way. All right, let's get to the lab to test this one out. So to basically download this, you need to visit the link in the description. Click on the download button beside the model and drag and drop it into your Stable Diffusion Web UI Models folder. Make sure to specifically put it in the Stable Diffusion folder so you can access it via models. Then go to this blue refresh button in the Web UI and click refresh. Now that the model is loaded, we're going to give it a very basic prompt. I'm going to give the prompt blonde hair, long hair, blue eyes, white frock, smiling, beach background. The negative prompts I've provided are ones that I give for any model, so you can use your own, or copy and paste this from the description of this video. And ta-da! We got a nice image of a girl, which is a bit blurry, but a little upscaling would do the trick. But you can also use this to create good portraits. I'm going to change the width and height to 512 and 1024 respectively. Let's increase the sampling steps to 50 and hit that generate button. Now look at that. Image is much more clear, beautiful, and it gave the exact details we needed. Before jumping to the next segment, let me quickly put a more complex prompt to see what it can do. Now I want an image of Saber from Fate, but in a more angelic style. I hit generate and boom, look at that. We got a nice image of a more holy Saber. One issue with this model is how it cannot generate more complex backgrounds or draw some complex lines. But apart from that, everything this model generates is a chef's kiss. Number four, comic babes. If you're a fan of comic books, you're going to love this model. All these images you see on the screen, which look like illustrations from actual comics that were designed using this checkpoint. Let me get back to the lab to see this one out. So just like before you download the model, put it on stable diffusion, load it up and type a basic prompt. This time I want a portrait of a businesswoman with a skyscraper in the background. Hit that big generate button and boom, we've got what we want. There's a little bit of issue with her hair having shades of blue, but we pretty much got what we needed. They've even given her a really large chest as a bonus. After a couple more generations, I realized the blue hair highlights in the hair wasn't going to fade away, but there's a simple solution. I just need to increase the weight of the black hair keyword. I do this by selecting the keyword and pressing control and the up arrow. With more weight, stable diffusion will put more emphasis on that keyword. Hit generate and see what we get. There you go. We got the perfect black hair. Sometimes this model struggles with complex prompts and blends in the hands or hair with other elements, but after a couple of tries, you should get it right. Feel free to play with the settings and see what style matches for you. Number three, Rev Animated. Both the models I spoke of before had animated art styles, so why don't we switch into something more realistic? This is where Rev Animated comes into play. This is a model that can create 2.5D-like image generations. What's special is how this is a checkpoint merge, which means it is a combination of several checkpoints. This can be used to create fantasy, anime, or any semi-realistic artwork. This model works best with the following resolutions, so if you want best results, input one of these. Let's choose 512 by 768. Input that stable diffusion, write a very basic prompt that gives me a purple-haired witch, and hit the generate button. And there you go. We got a nice portrait of a witch with some nice fantasy effects. Wait, don't skip. This section is super important. If you go back to my prompt, you'll notice I've added keywords like best quality, masterpiece, and detail. This is because these are the keywords that work really well with the model. This is also a model that works on prompt order, which means whatever you insert first will be given more weight. This model is also way better with portraits. Now here's a more detailed prompt with those rules applied. I need the portrait of a fantasy warrior. And look how beautiful that is. We've got a nice portrait of a female warrior, and they've even got a little creative with the background. If you need some fantasy art, now you know what model to use. Number two, Mina Mix. Now Mina Mix is my favorite model when it comes to generating anime art. The main purpose of this model is to be able to create good art with little prompting. Mina works great with both portraits and full body characters, and it is also one of the best models to use when it comes to creating characters with different postures. Remember how I said you need only a few prompts to create a good image? To prove my point, let me type in this simple 
simple prompt. One girl, blonde hair, white dress, restaurant background. Hit the generate button. Wait a few seconds, and there you go. We got a nice image of a girl in a restaurant holding a plate of food. If you look at the image closely, it can be a bit unclear. But if you export this same image to the extras tab, use the RSergan Anime 6B upscaler, change the upscale value to 2, you can see how we get much better results. I'm going to do the same with a little more detailed prompt. I need a ninja with some magic effects. Hit generate, and there you go. We got a nice image of a ninja girl with some magic. I follow the usual procedure, send to extras, upscale by 2, and now we get a more quality image. Now, just like before, listen carefully to this segment without skipping. Mina Mix also has a set of settings that gives you the best images. In my previous prompts, you might notice I used a different set of negative prompts. That's because those are the ones that work best with this model. If you are generating a portrait, make sure to keep the image size 512 by 1024, or if that's eating your VGA too much, then 512 by 768 is a good option as well. Resolutions for landscape images are also included here. My favorite sampler is Euler A, so I'll be using that, but when using it, I'll need Need to always keep the steps between 30 and 60. Make sure to set the CFG scale to 7 as well. Feel free to change these settings and try out, but these are what works the best. What I love about this checkpoint is how easily it can be integrated with other lores. Here are a few images I generated with specific lores using this model. Number one, deliver it. I've tested more than 20 checkpoints by now, and the model that worked best for me is the deliberate model. Just like the description says, it is an all-in-one any case model that can give you a very detailed image as long as you give a detailed prompt. Yeah, you heard that right. The only downside of this model is how you need some knowledge in prompt engineering to get it right. And as long as you have that, you can generate some great outputs. As an example, I'm going to try this long and detailed prompt I found in the model page and see what it generates. And boom, we've got a nice image of a girl in a very realistic style. It's almost like a real photograph if you ask me. One downside of Deliverate is how it can take time to learn and get used to, but once that's done, you can generate anything you want in any style you want. If you don't believe me, then check out the reviews of other people who have used this model. And that's it for today, my AI followers. If you loved our content, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and drop a comment on what you want to see from us next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.